Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Napoleon Total back again with some Shogun 2 Fall of the Sam Samurai Scramble for, for the Far East mod. And the Prussian campaign, of course. Um, what else? As of right now, of course. Um, in the last turn, we just um, did stuff. I was really talking about horses at the end, and especially cavalry at the end. The fair first railway in the Far East. Finally, we got our uh, trains. We got our railroads. And obviously that's gonna help eventually later, later on because I'm I, I'm having I have so much money in the bank with um, 10k per turn I'm literally um, 10k and a half to be exact I'm just building I'm just building railroads as fast as I possibly can uh, what else is there to be going on um, nothing really much um, just checking the pu public order and stuff like that, whatnot. Um, yes. Um, there's nothing really much to talk about except for um, turning back. And in this episode, we're just gonna be watching a lot of stuff happening, unraveling. I will be giving you guys commentary, but whatnot. Um, I'm sorry for those guys that really do not want to hear me talk about essentially nothing related to the gameplay. And then I'm showing you, but um, yes. Once again, we are exempting some ta uh, promises from getting taxed and stuff like that, whatnot. Um, we're gonna. We, this is a, a much slower approach than you guys will think. But um, because I have uh, Friedrich Albert just moving along, we are. I'm just gonna hit them from the back while my other army is gonna attack Kaga. Uh, Gunther is gonna be attacking Kaga, and um, I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna have. Uh, Geisha just entertained the people in Nota. And speaking of which, we're just gonna have my army led by Rolf, not to be confused with Ralph, who is my son. Um, we're just gonna have him attack, um, stuff. Um, well, my General Gunther right here is gonna be assaulting this castle. And to be exact, this is the castle of... Kaza... Kanazawa. Kanazawa. Yes. And like with all castle sieges battles, we begin with opening fire on opening firing firing on the enemy. That was a pretty good volley uh, by my guys. As you can see in the back lines we have these um, lifeguards. And once again for those that don't know, lifeguards are these guys that um, that literally look like Frederick the Great's army and they're essentially guys with that are the best of the army, chosen to be essentially the king's guard. So yes. As for as for the castle, um, most well, as you saw there, a tower was destroyed. So yeah, two towers to be exact. Um, as you can see, um, as you can see, um, stuff is going to happen, and this castle is actually pretty new. Um, well, it's it's modded in by the modders, I think. Um and. And yes, so it looks pretty good. Um, basically, there's the outer wall and the inner wall, and that's it. Is it complex? No, but they have moats inside of their castle, so it's gonna make it complex, but not that complex. The enemy army is mostly made out of cavalry, and we're just, we're just gonna see that eventually. As of right now, we're just gonna listen these to, to the gunfire and the crackling sounds of gunfire. And while those guys fire off, I'm gonna have a unit just go and do stuff, essentially. Um, what are they doing? They're just moving across the f uh, the fields. Well, actually, yeah, the sand to be exact in this case. And they're gonna try to burn down this castle. Gate, at least. Um, they're being fired upon by uh, bow cavalry, and that's interesting. Uh, we're gonna eventually, you're gonna, you guys are gonna eventually see how, how I deal with that. 
But, uh, uh, one torch throw, and I'm just getting the heck out of there, because this, uh, this air fire, although it's not deadly, it is, uh, actually, no, it's pretty deadly. So, yes. As I run away, the enemy is trying to get a hold of me, and they do something interesting called... Wait for it, wait for it, oh no, oh no, what are they doing? Oh no, they're, they're coming, they're, are, are they seriously gonna attempt to shoot me while I retreat? Oh no, but I'm out of range, oh no, what are you gonna do? Oh no, no, you're gonna come out of the fortress. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, at least I don't shoot at these guys, um, it's definitely fine. Guys, uh, it's not like I have guns just pointing at them the second they come out. Oh yeah, I also told my guys to hold fire until they are well within range. And that is for the devastating effect. So yes, I think it happens right now! And um, boom, they decided to ch go in for a charge while firing their arrows, but um... Most of them don't make it, um... Yeah, you can see as, as this camera is going on, th these guys are just dropping more and more. And finally some guys do get into melee, I think. But most of them are shot apart, and uh, most of them are easy pickings for my guys who um, are just getting either bayoneted or, or stuff like that. Yes. Continuing on, the enemy sends out another unit for reasons I do not know why. Um, they send another unit out and the exact almost the exact same thing happens to them, they get shot to pieces. Um, that show, that, that volley was pretty impressive. My, my guy shot the riders off, but not the horses, so that's interesting. Obviously, in this game, um, when you shoot the rider off, it also means death for the horse, which doesn't really make sense. In most cases. However, you can see the enemy cavalry trying to go back in, but for some reason, they decide to come out again. For what reason, I do not know. But they're just gonna come out, and because they are both cavalry, they're attempting to shoot at me. Which, uh, you can see the effect right now. They're gonna shoot, but my men are just gonna open fire. And we literally just shoot them to pieces. So that is very interesting. As you can see, all the dead horses and men essentially in on this field. Um, and yes, that's pretty interesting. Finally, as you can see, um, I'm gonna move up my entire lifeguards, and the lifeguards I'm gonna send in first, contra contrary to what I usually do, which is send them up, up my uh, colonial infantry. And the reason why I sent up my lifeguards this time was testing to see how many kills can they get without, and how many casualties do they take. Um, as you can see, my guys are just trying to go through these levees. Although these levees are quite poor, they are a lot in number, which means I, and this is a choke point, which means it's gonna be a tough fight. A fight that my guys will be winning, but my guys at the end of this fight is going to be very tired. Are going to be very tired. And um, looking at it from the outside view, I'm just going to send more lifeguards through and we're just going to be um, fighting this, essentially, this battle. In which we're eventually going to win, but um, hey, um, it's very bloody. And as you can see, as of right now, the, the, the bodies are just piling up. And stuff like that, yes. Um, on the right, um, we're just getting our troops through the through the through by literally having my guys climb the walls. And because this wall is not that tall, uh, we we don't take much fall damage. And finally, in order to counter that, the Japanese, uh, the ja um, the Fuki send in their samurais. And uh, at first, it was not that scary until I realized these guys have been trained since essentially childbirth to kill people. But my guys are the best out of my entire army. These these are are supposed to be the king's guard, essentially. Hence the reason why they're called lifeguards. They protect the life of the king, or at least that's my my version of it. Um, they're gonna be suffering some casualties left and right, but nothing compared to the samurai. Although. Although, yes. And, however, the samurai are going to hold their own and continue to fight on. And, and seeing that, uh, I'm just going to have my guys uh, get out of the way as my other units just prepared my other uh, lifeguards and then I had them uh, go up on the walls. I'm going to have them open fire on this, uh, this gap, which basically has a lot of these samurai. 
Now these samurai are getting to turn into like uh, bow samurai, and essentially they're armed with bows. But I'm pretty sure they do they do pretty well in, co in melee too. And as you can see, more more men are dropping because our men are just opening fire. And I think for this purpose I'm using suppressing fire. But my guys are firing very quickly. And finally they just like, nope, we had enough and we're running away. As, as you can see, the entire battle for the gate, in this case the gate, is still going on. My units are just pouring in, but the enemy, because they have a lot of poor units, are suffering, but they are not uh, get, letting an inch. And in order to counter that, I have my unit that was originally on the, that was fighting the the, sam, the foot samurai and the bow samurai. I'm just gonna have them shoot at these uh, these people. And to make it more interesting, uh, eventually um, the enemy general decides to charge at my cavalry, uh, my my lifeguards, and their their effect is pretty ominous. As you can see, the bodies are just piling up. Um, Yes, interesting indeed. On the right flank, I have this my Brunswick infantry clear the walls, but for some reason the enemy decides to send out their cavalry, and at first I thought they were just going to charge me. The enemy decides to do a smart decision, and and that is to um, shoot my guys with uh, arrows. That's the good thing. The bad thing is that I cannot return fire, and and since I'm in square, uh, I'm in square by the way, guys. Uh, it should be something slanted, right? I'm in square because I, I'm afraid that the cavalry's gonna charge me. The cavalry some does charge right now, but you can see the effects of charging into the square. It's not pretty. Obviously, most of the horses dropping within the few, first few seconds. And to make it worse for um, them, I have another unit that are that is just um, that I have more lifeguards ready and. <laughs> And this gate battle is more turning into a blob ba mob battle. Like literally, the the the, 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 the green guys you, you see right here are just get, getting so pumped up. It's not even funny anymore. But um, to help out my Brunswick infantry that is on the flank, I decided to send another unit of Brunswick infantry through, and we're just gonna open fire on this uh, cavalry. Not that we need it because my square is actually opening fire. So that's interesting. Finally, with all these, uh, the mob that are coming in, I'm just gonna have my guys, because after I defeated the cavalry, of course, I'm just gonna have, as, as, as you can see, the dead bodies of the horses, uh, we're just gonna have these guys to open fire on the back of these, uh, green mob guys, the, 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 the levy infantry, I, I believe, and we're just gonna blast them the heck, and we're just gonna charge straight through. Obviously, uh, at this, at this, at this point, uh, most of the enemy army has been destroyed, except for some mortars left and right, which is not interesting to watch. But just just look at the dead and the carnage. Um, obviously, some of my men have fallen, but most of the enemies, and essentially a lot of just like piles of piles of men. We win the battle with taking 483 casualties. Uh, we take Kaga, interesting place. Um, we're gonna repair the heck out of it, and we're gonna send another army. Um, yes. We're gonna eventually send another army. I'm looking at how many defenders I can muster in Ich Ichizu. I figured out I can actually muster a lot, which is what you can see. Um, and we're if if a combined assault of enemy forces of the Ichizu, uh, sorry, of a Wakiyama and uh, the sorry the Takiyama. My bad. I've been calling them the Wakiyama, but the Takiyama and and the Fuki. If they assault um, Ichizu, I'm gonna have a defense ready for them. And I'm actually not afraid of the both sides. So yes. Continuing on, we're just looking at this stuff and then yeah, nothing else is happening pretty much. So yes, we're just gonna be um waiting. Um I'm, I'm gonna end the turn, to be exact. Um you can see my army is moving on to Nagit Nagita. And that is the reason because I'm trying to build an army in Nagita. And to my surprise, the enemy does not do anything. They come to a to a loot um and um do stuff with the Fuki decide to loot on uh, Kaga and I didn't want peace after they looted my province and then my province actually now but and uh, Takiyama decided to retreat so 
All my fears were for nothing. The enemy raiding Kagas, that's, that's no surprise. I'm just gonna auto resolve the, 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 the enemy army, which is really a joke. Um, they have cavalry and a jump, so yeah, they're just gonna get shot to pieces. And we're just gonna auto resolve this battle, which should be, um, we should be taking no casualties, and we eventually did take no casualties. Ah. <sighs> I do have to repair some stuff which I already did and I'm gonna move my army into Echizen and I'm gonna lead the assault I'm gonna order a night battle not that not that the reinforcement army is scary but I, I because if I um, yeah it's not scary at all I'm gonna continue the siege for now because I have other fish to fry uh, one of them is I'm um, just making sure everything is tipped up order before um, stuff happens. Hida is pretty much um, screwed over. Um, I'm just waiting for my big army led by my son, son uh, my, led by my general, my bad wolf, to come over and stuff and, and stuff like that. And stuff like that, so whatnot. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about as of right now? No, not really. We're just gonna ass assault um, what's the official name? Fuki. And it is literally the castle of Fuki, so uh, good luck guys. We have, we're attacking the, the castle of Fuki, held by the defenders of Fuki, uh, the Fuki the clan, by the way. And yes, that's gonna be interesting. As you can see here, our mortars are just lighting up the day, um, our mortars, once again, mortars are for destroying enemy towers and stuff and whatnot. And yes, I find them surprisingly useful in land battles too. And the, and the way that you will get these mortars is obviously capturing them on the battlefield, which, um... To my surprise, actually works pretty well. Um, another thing that I find pretty interesting is the fact that um, everything is pretty well and continuing to go well. So yes, I'll stop talking for now. Taking a look at the actual, actual fortress itself, which is currently being bombarded by my said mortars. We are just gonna be, um... This fortress is pretty self-explanatory. It is, um, the fortress that we fought, um, with an outer layer and a keep layer. And this is the fortress that literally, um, looks pretty, I guess. I, 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 I don't know how to explain it, except for the fact that we fought against it. It's just, it's just in the light, it's just in the night, so it looks like it's another fortress, but it's the exact same fortress. Um, I'm starting to see a pattern in with these, uh, Japanese fortresses. Um, yes. We're off to a good start by just opening fire, and at this point, I'll just stop talking because, yeah, it's, it's self-explanatory.
finally we're just gonna order our men to rush in and just gonna take the fortress. Um, there's once again nothing else to be talked about here, so um, you're just gonna be watching um, the recording. Actually, no, not the recording, the battle. <laughs> um, I thought I was doing a live commentary, more like. Um, but yes, um, once again, for those that are interested, I'm sending in some of my interesting units. Um, Colonial Line, uh, sorry, not Colonial Line. Uh, Prussian Line Infantry, Brunswick Infantry, and Wittenberg Infantry. As you can tell by one, not only the colors, but, this, uh, but, but the uniforms. Um, obviously the Wittenberg infantry is, I'm, color, I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell you what color that is, ex except for I think it's black. Prussian line infantry is with Prussian blue and, uh, white, white pants. For those that are interested, white pants are for the summer campaign, while gray and other color pants, at least for the Prussian army, is for, it's, um, during the winter. Brunswick Infantry is a whole different another story. Brunswick Infantry is mostly black with blue colors and um, um, yes, the colors, blue blue um, linings. And for for those not interested in what lining is, it's just basically the colors on on the sleeve, uh, the colors and stuff like that. So anyway, we're just gonna I'm just gonna stop talking and let you guys watch the battle. Finally, after taking the fortress, we're just gonna um, look at stuff. We've lost 82 men, which is not surprising. Um, we've been taking relatively few casualties. Now the Fuki are now left without a home, and that is the reason why you can see these guys being called, I think, uh, very soon, they're gonna be called rebels. Actually, no, I think they're rebels as of right now. Are they? Yeah. I, I, yeah. Um... What is going on? What else is going on? The Obama, we are now within reach of them. So yes, um, I'm gonna have my army just go to um, to take out the Takayama, led by Rolf. And yes. As you can see here, the enemy is tr just trying to loot, and uh, the rebels to be exact, they're trying to do a uh, raid Echizen. Not scary. Um, once again, off the bat, uh, as my empire grows, it's more about problems management, stuff like that, building railways, which is most important. As you can see, uh, during this time, my empire is, my income is starting to decline, and the reason is because I am spending a lot on my military lifeguards that's costing a bunch, and uh, yeah, I'm recruiting essentially another army in um, my home, uh, my capital. And yes, that's gonna cost a lot. Um, my general has leveled up, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, faction leader levels up, that's always great. 
He has many good ch children, uh, many other children that he adopted, and all of them are great. As generals, they excel. As uh, administrators, I excel. So yes, um, <laughs> um, there's, it was a, uh, it was pretty hard to decide what the heck do I get. Um, yes, so it's pretty hard. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm getting. So yes, you just have to wait for me to decide, make up my mind. And I finally decided to go for. I think inspiring leader or something like that. Yeah. Um, rating. Actually, no, not rating. Rating sucks. Um, command and yes, that command is important because it gives you morale, I think, and stuff like that. So yes, we eventually destroyed the. Uh, what do you call them? Fuki. And yes, Takiyama are at war with me. Obviously, I do not want to have peace with them. The Northern Alliance is still trading, although that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna go to, gonna send my army to take Hata and Hida, my bad. And I'm gonna send Gunter to help out, just in case. Um, once again, I'm just gonna destroy Cavalry Barracks because I do not like Cavalry Barracks what, whatsoever. Um, they suck, I rather prefer infantry for obvious reasons. And yes, um, we're just gonna fast forward. And not, no, not fast forward, we're just, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the gameplay. As of right now, I'm just doing uh, uh, petty little stuff, much to your dismay. There's not, there's not much action going on, so yes, I'll stop talking and let you, let you guys just watch the, 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 the campaign movements, I guess. That said, we are coming down to um, a few stuff left and right. So, um, what has been going on during the time in which I was not talking? Um, off the bat, we um, we are moving an army near the um, Obama border, and yes, our faction-wide development has increased. That means we are actually going to build these buildings some iron ships, which is more than important. I want, I seriously do want to have a very good navy. Especially in the late game, uh, very good navy is really important for our survival, as a matter of fact. Um, I wonder why, like, literally every other major faction, especially when we go down to go down south, we're gonna have a big time dealing with the, the enemy uh, ships, indeed. As you can see in the Gideon, my army is still being raised. 
Um, this army is eventually gonna go up north, but uh, yeah. Um, so yes. Um, going south. Sorry, west to be exact. Um, the the my my fortress at Mino, or the quote unquote fortress at Mino is is there, but uh, against the Takashima assault, I don't think it's gonna hold that well compared to Echizu, which um, we do have an army. I decided to do nothing, but um, we're gonna go to the Obama border right now, and just we're just gonna declare war. Northern Alliance is gonna join us, and yes. And the reason why I declared so quickly was because I see there's no army for the Obama, so I just I'm just gonna go in there, and yes. Oh, I also canceled the alliance with the Northern Alliance because that's funny. Canceled the alliance with the Northern Alliance, and the reason is. Obviously, we're preparing an invasion force. It should be self-explanatory by now. Um, yes, yeah, surprise to absolutely no one. And but off the bat, the second we do that, uh, our, 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 we're gonna lose two thousand Koku per turn, and that's because uh, most of our trade is with the Northern Alliance. And yeah, that's a problem. But hey, uh, who who cares about trade when you can literally uh, take all their land, hey? But anyway, um, we are getting the hang of this. After, uh, my idea was that since the British are right next to me, I'm gonna invade the Northern Alliance first and then deal with the British. And so, yes. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much it for this episode. Um, there's a, still a few things left and right here and there, a few ships to be moving, but it's pretty much it for this episode. So, um, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. And thank you for watching. Now, before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I would be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.